Hey guys, it's Di, and I hope you guys had a wonderful holiday for whichever holidays that you celebrate. And we had a great Christmas at my house, and I was vlogging the whole month of December up till Christmas on my other channel. So I was quite busy with that, and I know I haven't uploaded on a ch this channel in a little bit, but I wanted to go ahead and get my videos back going, and I thought I would share what I received for Christmas. And I didn't want to call it a Christmas haul because <laughs> it does sound kind of odd. But I thought I would share some of the things that I got for Christmas. And I would just go ahead and put the disclaimer out there. We don't do very big gifts for our family for Christmas. So this is not like a Louis Vuitton purse time of year. So there's no Louis Vuitton purse reveals here or anything. I get all those sorts of things at different other occasions or just sporadically throughout the year otherwise. So Christmas at our house is mainly focused on the kids. And if you guys remember from my 25 things about me video. I mentioned that my husband and I are quite opposites. I'm very into the holidays and I just I love everything about about them, the decorating and the buying the gifts for other people and the you know the festivities and all that, and he's just really not into it quite the same way that I am. So um, all of my gifts from my family uh, were purchased by me, you know, and they're from my kids or whatever, and that's fine. It works out for us. So there's no surprises there. I you know I purchased all of my own gifts. My husband just basically says, "What do you want?" and then says and to go and get it, um, you know. But he that's what works for us. So I don't have any like stocking stuff or reveals or anything because that is something that I just do for our kids and then my husband and I don't do it in, um, in our stockings. So anyhow, I will show you a little bit of everything that I got. So some of the things I'll mention which ones were from my family, um, you know, meaning my husband and my kids to me, which were all obviously things that I bought and either tossed underneath the tree or one larger thing my husband had to go help me pick up. Um, and then otherwise, they're just some little gifts from my parents and in-laws and things. So first of all, my dad gave me some of my Christmas gifts early. And part of the Sephora haul that I showed um, just a few videos back on this channel were actually Christmas gifts from my father. So this Bare Minerals Get Started gift was one of the first things. And also this NARS eyeshadow primer. And then the gift card that I received from Sephora was actually part of my Christmas gift as well. He loves the practicality side of things. My dad's very practical, kind of like my husband is, and so he always gets us shoes and socks for Christmas. So that was also part of my Christmas gift as well. And then we also received a number of gift cards, and um, another family likes just giving, you know, cash to people, so we'll be getting different Christmas gifts with those things later on. Or my mom gave us this year this little 31 bag, which I thought was really cute. It was embroidered all for you, and my sister and I think my nieces and I all got this same little bag when I thought it was cute and festive and then there's just little soaps and things like that down in here some kitchen accessory thing she also got me this reusable bag which I thought was a really neat idea yeah. because this is something that I can actually use you know all throughout the year it's not like Christmas themed or anything it had this really cute kind of fashion print on it which I thought was great as well and the other thing she said that she just found it at like a local place around where she lives so it's not really something I can you know say you can go here and look for this but the other thing I thought was really neat about this is it has pockets down in the inside as well which I don't think I've ever seen one of these reusable bags with the pockets down inside so that thought was really cool and then she always gets my sister and I some Christmas towels these are from the St. Nicholas Square line at Kohl's and this is one of my favorite holiday lines so those were really cute. My mom also got me one more thing and this is kind of for the girls too and this is the Elf on the Shelf, a Christmas tradition and I had talked to her about this about maybe potentially finding one of these for this year but then I thought maybe the girls wouldn't be old enough for it so she purchased this and made it part of my Christmas gift which I thought was hilarious and we got the little girl elf and it has the book and everything inside so the deal with these is if you don't have kids basically what they are are little elves that you um, they magically appear around your house in a different spot every day and every evening they change spots and then it's just fun for the kids to go around and try to find where they are and the health is supposed to be watching them and reporting back to Santa so I thought that this would be a cute thing to start doing next year with my three-year-old and then my father-in-law got me this tripod because he came in one day when I was doing a video with my niece for my other channel and I had a bunch of Christmas boxes stacked on top of a high chair and so he thought mm, this would be a great gift for my daughter-in-law. So this is going to get a lot of use this year definitely for my videos. This is just a tripod that's expandable and even though you guys will probably never ever see this in a video again I'm sure it'll be used for a lot of videos on this channel. I also got a number of Christmas themed items 
to me from my family basically and these are from Williams Sonoma I got the 12 days of Christmas plate I love displaying plates just as decoration so I got that from Williams Sonoma and I also really like the holly print from these different items that they have out this year and this is the vintage postcard condiment serving set we've actually already used this at our Christmas dinner and these work great to put out little things like sweetener and to put dips in and that sort of thing these were really really beautiful festive and they worked great for that and then also from Williams Sonoma I got the matching little plates to go with those and they just have like a little holly print like this on them they're all different and these are great because you can put spoons out on the table and serve different things with them so those worked out really great as so well. I just kind of included those in my Christmas present um, you know, because it's Christmas themed and they'll get put in with our Christmas decorations. And then the other gifts that I got from my family, basically, that I picked out to be from my husband and my kids, are this lovely coach scarf. This is the gray oscillate and last year I got kind of a brown colored one. So I thought that this was really pretty and I love um, wearing this matching scarf with like Uggs, so I have the gray Uggs and this matches that now. And I have the sand colored Uggs that kind of matches the browner oscillate scarf that I got last year. So I love that I have a matching set for both of those. And then I also got just a little turn lock bracelet in the turquoise color. And this is like a double wrap bracelet. I've been wanting to try one of these for a really long time and I saw this in Michigan. I thought, hmm, that would make a really great Christmas present. <laughs> And so I ended up getting one of those, and that's what that looks like. And then from Nordstrom's, I just got the Philosophy 3-in-1 Shower Gel and Sugar Plum Fairy. I thought it was very festive and very pretty in the purple, so that would definitely get used in the next month or so. And then I also got one of the Alexis Bitar bracelets. I've been wanting to try one of these for a really long time. This is what the dust bag looks like, and it came in a little... Nordstrom's gift box and I got the warm gray color and I can say that I absolutely love this I think that I'm going to be wearing this with like my Louis Vuitton inclusion bracelets maybe to kind of break them up a little bit the plastic seems softer on this though than the Louis Vuitton inclusion bracelets so I think that this will be a nice complement to those and so I've just been wanting to try one of those and see what I thought. I really love this color. I think it's just nice and subtle and very pretty. And the last thing that I got from my family was the Longchamp large bag in Bilberry. And I've been wanting to try one of these and I've kind of had in the back of my mind that it would make a great Christmas present from my kids or whatnot. And so that's the kind of thing that I ended up getting from them. And this is the larger size in the Bilberry color. You can see that... It's pretty much just a really great everyday size, maybe a little bit larger than everyday, but there's plenty of room to throw like a scarf down in there, and it really easily, comfortably goes over the shoulder. So far, I haven't used it yet, but so far, I really think that this is going to be a fantastic bag for winter to use in inclement weather and that sort of thing. So the last thing that I'm going to show you is from my husband, and I will have to move the camera over to show it to you actually because it's over there on that side of the room and it's attached to the wall. So I will show you that as well, and I will be doing further reviews on it as well. So let me know what questions you guys have about it, because I will be doing a jewelry collection video for the first time after I reveal this and then get all of my things moved into it. And this is my bigger gift from my husband and my two girls. And this is something that I decided to request. Instead of Tiffany jewelry this year, I may get one piece of Tiffany jewelry with some gift money that we got from another relative. But instead of Tiffany jewelry this year from my husband, I decided to go ahead and ask for the Hayworth Armoire from Pier 1. And this is something that I actually originally saw on YouTube. And I initially saw it when I was redoing my makeup vanity. I happened to just catch it a few times in random videos. I believe some people actually had their makeup stored in it. I believe Makeup by Tiffany D had her makeup in it. And I believe I also saw it on Juicy Star's channel. I can't remember whether she had makeup in it. I think hers might have actually had jewelry in it. And then I think at some point in May I saw it even on Miss Glamorazzi's channel. So I saw it randomly on a bunch of different people's channels. And I loved the functionality and just how it was organized in the interior, how much space it had. So I looked into it at Pier 1 and I thought I really think I want to get this at some point. 
those people all have one that is silver on the front and the sides and I really didn't think that that would go in our room because our furniture in our room is kind of this darker wood that has the wrought iron detail on it and you can see even though it's a little bit more of a brown color it's showing up lighter here on the camera than it is actually in real life but I didn't think that this silver would really go that great with our rooms. So I looked on the Pier 1 website and this armoire actually came in this espresso color which is a very, very deep brown color and I thought that will be perfect. So I went and looked at it at the store and it was something I thought would definitely work. So I talked to my husband to see if it would be okay if I got this instead of Tiffany jewelry and he thought it was a great idea. So this is the armoire and you can see that it has the two doors on the front and I really like this aspect of it because the doors kept the drawers hidden. I've looked at other armoires and you have all these exposed drawers with all the knobs and I just like this look a little bit better because it's just a nice cleaner look. And also I like that the mirror on this after I looked at it in real life, it doesn't really show up on camera that well but the mirrored part is actually kind of antiqued almost a little bit so it makes it blend in with our more traditional furniture a lot better and then it has these two larger drawers down here at the bottom that can hold a number of things and I haven't quite got everything moved in here yet um, we just got it set up yesterday so I'm still working on getting it set up but it works out really great to kind of keep everything separate and house everything in separate compartments this is the kind of jewelry area up here for rings over here at the side and I'm kind of testing out how I want to do things over here right now I have just a little cupcake Thing that I've been used for a few years that has earrings in it and just some miscellaneous Tiffany pouches and some ring boxes. I'm still kind of sorting out where everything is going to go but I'll definitely update you guys once I have this project completed. I like that the hangers on the side for the necklaces are separate and if you have longer necklaces you can let them hang all the way down. So I'm using that side for kind of my more conservative necklaces and this side for my kind of funner, you know, more outgoing pieces, and then I have a number of different purse charms and things like that hanging up right there. And then the drawers, there's a couple of shallow drawers here at the top, which work great for more shallow things or watches. And then there's some deeper drawers down here at the bottom. There's three of those that are great to hold either taller things like this Dior box or to stack things one on top of the other. So as I get my jewelry moved into this I will kind of update you guys on what I think it's going to look like and show you my updated jewelry collection and storage. But just to show you real quick these are the two Le Vuitton accessory boxes and two of these will fit on top of each other in these kind of mid-sized drawers right here. It unfortunately is not deep enough for you to stand them up either sideways or straight up. You can see that they're kind of taller than the drawer but I even thought that maybe I could use this as an auxiliary storage for non-jewelry items if I ever need to. These are inclusion bracelets which is why these are over here but I did put my sunglasses down here in this drawer which I think is going to work very nicely to keep those separate from my wallets and everything and then this drawer I haven't quite decided if it's going to be um, a holding space for YouTube videos, you know, for things I'm waiting to do a video on, or if it's going to be an extra storage for makeup. This one's still up in the air as far as what I'm going to do with that one. This is my kind of bigger gift for my family, and I really do love it. I think it's going to work out great, and it's a very, very beautiful piece of furniture, and I think will be a great complement to my jewelry collection. And I'm still kind of sorting out a smaller jewelry case to hold kind of my better jewelry, so I'm deciding what I want to do as far as moving that into this one or if I want to keep my better jewelry separate from my more costume jewelry but as I sort that out like I said I will update you guys so hopefully you guys have enjoyed my what I received for Christmas video. I don't want to say Christmas haul even though that's what I start to say. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video and that you had a great holiday. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.